guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about a katana from truekatana.com. I think I paid $140 for it and it came in the mail in about five days. It's only 1045 steel, but it's full tang and it's somewhat sharp. Plus there's no rattle anywhere, even when it's in the Saya. And the Ito is wrapped decently, but it's not the tightest, but also hasn't loosened up any during use. Overall, I actually really like it and it doesn't look bad hanging on the wall. But most people say don't buy from True Katana because they're overpriced. I'll put a link to this katana in the description anyways. It's not a terrible katana, but it's only 1045 still, so it won't hold an edge as long as a higher carbon content sword, and it's more likely to bend on a bad cut, but you'll see later in the video I did some bad cuts and it didn't bend at all. It's not the sharpest, and the Ito could be wrapped tighter, but I actually like the fittings a lot. They're super simple and clean looking. Thanks for watching, enjoy the video, and if you have any katanas you'd like to see, just let me know in the comments. I did order at Ryujin Katana and a Jeku Sino Swords Katana, so I'll be doing a video on those soon. Enjoy the video. that I can see or anything else. I guess I'm gonna try this one.
still no bend. 1045, it holds up decently well. Those cuts I'm um, the worst at. Still, uh, no bend. That I can see.
1045 is not terrible. It does scratch very easily. Even on just plastic milk jugs. Um, but it's not a bad sword. Not a bad sword at all.